Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Michelle TV. Today's guest is Perry Lowe, an R&B singer from Bastrop, Texas. But first, here's Michelle singing Restitution. <laughs> This one goes out to all those who did wrong when nobody was looking. You may be the big time corporate cat or the junkie on the street. Whatever you sow, you'll also reap. Restitution.
You know, Freddie's dead, y'all. You're gonna pay, going to 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 pay, restitution. was funky. If you enjoyed that, you can pick it up on the album entitled Just Michelle. Up next, we have writer, artist, and producer Perry Lowe, who began singing at the age of six. And now here he is singing He Paid It All. He paid it all, he paid it all 
When he rose that third day, folded his clothes where his body once lay. He paid it all. He paid it all. Oh, when he rose that third day, he folded his clothes, body once lay. Yeah. He paid it all. He paid it all. He paid it all. Yes, he did. Oh, yeah. Wow, what a great song. And here's another by Perry Lowe entitled VIP. So good to have you here, Perry. Yeah, good to be here, man. 
uh, it's been a long time since yeah. we've done something together. Yeah. And you were <laughs> you were on my list. I said I have to have Perry Lowe. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Yeah. It, you know, feels good to be out playing, and you know, yeah. And house band, you guys are great, man. Thank Big you. Dad. Thank you. Uh, the songs, VIP. Um, he paid it all. Amazing. You're such a great songwriter. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. Uh, I, I try. You know, I mean, just getting into things and doing yeah. it and uh, learning as you go, yeah. and you just keep learning. So different styles cool. and techniques of writing. So it's pretty cool. Well, I want to. I want to know about the songwriting. Tell me about first of all about VIP. Mm -hmm. How? Where did that song come from? How did you get the inspiration? And and tell me about it. Well, the uh, the music was uh, from uh, Chad Paxson. He sent me. He said, "Hey, I got a song, man. I think you like it." I said, "Oh, cool." I said, "You know, you send it over, man." And so he sent it, and uh, and you know, like I was going to work, driving back and forth, and I'd had the song in there, and then I had it like two days, and then by the yeah. Using the voice recorder, and after that, man, two days I had the song, and I just went in and cut it. I made my first record with Chad yep. Paxton. We mm -hmm. Wrote the songs together, and and at least half of the songs, and yep. produced it together. Yeah. Great, great musician and songwriter. So yeah, I hope he sees this. Chad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy that. Yeah, but, he did uh, some good work, man. But normally, when you write in a song, mm. you you produce. The tracks mm -hmm. on the keyboards, typically, right? Yeah, and I, I'm I'm not a great player. I'm I'm kind of a well-rounded player. Mm -hmm. so that means you continue to roll. <laughs> so I mean, that's what I normally do. I roll. So I'm I'm a jack of all trades, master of none. Yeah. And I program a lot of stuff just so I can get ideas, right? You know, and then you know, hand it off to you know musicians. I love the track. I think it's a hit, and I oh. hope people hear it on the show TV. And I hope it gets. You get a lot of requests. I hope so, song. you know, with a record out and stuff. So, you know, it would be nice. Yeah. Cool. And the other one, he paid it all. Mm. You had written that years ago, mm -hmm. and I asked you if I could put it on my first album. Yep. And you let me put it on there yeah. and sing it. That's my most requested song. Well, I, that's a good thing to know. I mean, a positive song like that and trying to get people to go in the right direction, that's a yeah. good thing. You know, it could be something. Yeah. You know, yeah. something. Booty shaking music. <laughs> <laughs> none of that. None of that on. None of that on my show TV. Uh, so I've been wanting you to write another song like he paid it off for a long time. So when are you gonna come up with another gospel tune? I am working. I have a ton of tunes that I've been working with, and you know some things, uh, uh, some setbacks over the last few years kind of put me back behind yeah. the ball and I, where I wasn't doing things. And right. But uh, it's time to get those out. But there's there's a few out there that I've got sitting around. You just hadn't heard them yet, so. Speaking of setbacks, um, I know you guys have a college fund mm -hmm. for Preston Lowe mm -hmm. and uh, the Preston Lowe mm -hmm. Scholarship Fund. Tell me a little bit about that. Preston was a guy that uh, he always was kind of, he worked his way into things. He didn't do it formally. You know, mm -hmm. he didn't go to school or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But he always learned how to do things and, and um, studied to the point yeah. where he was like people that went to school. So... Um, we looked at it after he passed um, was to uh, give kids an opportunity uh, that have those skills and may, you know, want to mm -hmm. do that thing. But like Preston was, ah, I'm not quite sure what I want to do. Give a push, give them a yeah. little, you know, hand up to try to, you know, pursue their career, you know, whether it be theater arts, mm -hmm. uh, radio, you know, communications, broadcasting, journalism, any of those things. We try to get kids. Uh, going on that, that have that potential, but may need that little extra, you know, yeah. a few extra dollars in their pocket to make it happen. Right. So you guys don't know this, but um, Preston and Perry and I met many years ago, and when I met them, they were producing songs on the keyboard. That's right. So if people want to find out about the the uh, scholarship fund, how do they find out about it? Um, you can just uh, you can get on Facebook, um, search Preston Low Scholarship. Okay. A memorial scholarship, and it'll pop right up. And you're you're writing a lot, and you're producing a lot of songs for other people, tracks, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Tell me about that. Well, what I'm doing now is I, I started this thing called Beatsmart Music, and it's um, just grooves. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you can you know get them; they're already pre-arranged and everything, or whatever, and you can get them, and we show you where the chords and hooks are, and then you can just add your voice. And then it's ready to go. I'm gonna check that out. Yeah. I need. I might need a few beats myself. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> we, you can get them. Your Perry Low CDs. Can people buy them right now? Or yeah, are they they're, available. Yeah, they're actually uh, available iTunes. Nice. Uh, they're out on Spotify. So 
cool. Go spin, please. Go spin. <laughs> so, Play those songs. Search for Perry Lowe on Spotify. That's right. And you'll see the first album was called My Life in a Groove. So if people want to connect with you, what's the best ways that they can hear about what you're doing? Uh, you can go to perrylowmusic.com. Cool. Uh, you can reach out to me at uh, Perry Lowe on Facebook, my musician page. Awesome. Um, and also, we do a lot of stuff with Chubby Knuckle Choir, so you'll Excellent. see us there, too, and you'll see us uh, popping around. Awesome. Thank you so much, Perry. Man, I appreciate you I really you enjoyed me. this. Y'all have gotten a real treat tonight with Perry Lowe, and we appreciate you coming, man. Appreciate being here, man. All right. God bless. <laughs> Thanks, All right. <laughs> That's our show. Thanks for hanging out with us. Our next episode airs August the 11th at 333. Keep checking Michelle.tv for band and artist lineup. And remember, Michelle TV is the place to be for the best live soul, funk, and R&B. Fridays every three weeks at 3.33. <laughs>